This video is for educational purposes only. It should not be considered investment, legal, or tax advice. It is not an offer to buy or sell any security. Past performance does not indicate future results. Investing is risky. A few weeks ago, I posted a video talking about how the insider buy to sell ratio has historically been one of the best predictors of future market returns. Typically, when that ratio exceeds one, that's been a very good time to buy stocks. If you're interested in watching that video, you can check it out right here. But a lot of you were interested in getting some more specifics on which stocks insiders were actually buying. So in today's video, by popular request, we're going to talk about four businesses that insiders bought in the month of June. We're also going to talk about one stock that they were selling. Now, these obviously were not all of the insider buys and sells for the month of June. These are just a few that I thought were particularly either large or interesting. Our first buy was in a master limited partnership called Plains All-American Pipeline, ticker symbol is PAA. The director, Kevin McCarthy, he bought 200,000 shares of PAA at $9.81 per share which was a total of $1.96 million. This stock is particularly interesting for dividend investors because of its huge 8.8% dividend yield. However, you can see by the chart that that's basically all you've gotten over the last uh, couple of years. And if you've been an investor since back before 2019, well, you probably have still lost money, even though that's that massive dividend. Also keep in mind that there could be some tax implications for buying this, so you need to really be careful of that before you put money to work here. But I thought this was definitely an interesting buy because of the amount, but also because of the history of Kevin McCarthy. So he's currently the vice chairman of Kane Anderson. And before that, he was actually the head of the energy investment banking at UBS Securities. So he knows quite a bit about the energy space. He's also interesting because he became the director of Whiting Petroleum Corp, WLL. And this stock is obviously a complete dumpster fire, but he did purchase about $200,000 worth of this stock on September 9th, 2020. He paid under $21 per share for the stock, and it's now up nearly 300% at uh, $69.32. So is that going to happen again to planes? I'm not entirely sure, but it does suggest that one, this guy has a decent track record with his insider purchases, and two, based on his bio, he obviously is very well-versed in energy, and particularly PAA, since he is a director. The second on our list, we're going from a 8% dividend yield to a 0% dividend yield, but there's been some interesting purchases by another director, James A. Starr. He bought a ton of Chewy stock on June the 6th, he bought $5 million worth of the stock for $27.71 a share. He bought another roughly $5 million worth on June the 13th. So obviously, James Starr is uh, loaded off his mind, but he bought uh, basically $10 million worth of the stock. And you can see, based on the current price, uh, again, we're just a couple weeks away from there, but... Uh, that looks like that was a pretty good investment, at least here in the uh, sort of near term. So this is really interesting for a couple reasons. One, it's a huge insider buy. Two, James Starr has a really good track record, which I'll show you in just a second. But this is also, I think, an interesting sign for the discretionary purchases in general. This is an online retailer of pet food. So this does suggest that uh, people, maybe the consumer is doing a little bit better, uh, at least based on Chewy's business, what James can see. Maybe the consumer is doing a little bit better than the market is anticipating. Again, this is just one stock, so maybe that's too much to extrapolate. But there are some clues I think you can, you can gain from some of these purchases, even if it's not for the stock itself. But this is also really interesting because James Starr has a pretty good track record with Chewy, both on buys and sells. First of all, just to highlight, in December of 2020, he actually sold two lots worth of stock 
in total about $5 million. And he sold those when the stock was at $85 and $99.45. Since then, the stock is down 58% and 65% since those sales. And if you look before that, back in 2019, he also bought some Chewy stock in the $22 to $24 price range, even with the massive decline since 2022. He's still up 47 and 60% on those purchases. So clearly, James knows Chewy stock well. He should. He's a director of the business. But his signals in the past, at least for this stock, have been pretty timely. The third buy is RKT Rocket Companies. This is uh, probably best well known for its subsidiary Rocket Mortgage. And this is obviously was a darling. It's a technology-driven lending mortgage business, but it's down 70% in the last five years. So definitely do a lot of due diligence before you buy this stock. But this one is super interesting for a couple of reasons. One is the sheer amount of, of insiders buying this stock. This is 2022 alone. Year to date, there have been 31 different purchases of this business by two people, Matthew Rizik, who's the director, and the CEO, Jane, excuse me, Jay Farner. The CEO buys are really interesting because of all the people working at the company, obviously the CEO knows it best or should. So it's very encouraging to see a CEO buying the stock. You can see all the different purchases here. The CEO has been dumping millions of dollars into this company. Rizik's purchases are much smaller, so I don't know how much stake you really want to put in that, but it's clear that Farner is either trying to signal to the market to push the stock up, which is always a possibility, or he is really bullish on the future and thinks the stock is way too cheap. Only time will tell, which is actually true. But the other thing I think is interesting is Rocket is obviously in the mortgage business, which if Farner is right, and if Rocket uh, does become a rocket, pun intended, that signals the housing market could actually be a little bit better than everyone seems to think. Obviously, rates are significantly higher, and we're going to see some softening in the housing market. Could see home values start to decline, but this is at least one vote of confidence that the housing market isn't going to totally fall apart long term. And our final purchase is Cable One, ticker symbol C-A-B-O. This is a broadband provider that operates under the brand Sparklight. They're currently in 21 different states and have 900,000 customers. Like many other communication stocks, they have also suffered in 2022. However, they do have a small dividend yield and are trading at a relatively attractive P.E. ratio. Uh, so this is an interesting business, but the reason this is on the list is because the insider that purchased was a director by the name of Tom Gaynor. Gaynor bought 5,000 shares for a total of $6.5 million, but he actually did it for his company, which he is the chief investment officer for, Markel Corporation. And this is probably as similar to Berkshire Hathaway as you could find, not named Berkshire Hathaway, uh, they are an insurance company that basically does the same thing Berkshire Hathaway does. They have a portfolio of equities that are managed by Gainer. And look at this max chart. You can see that this company has been very successful, and a large part of that is because of Gainer's incredible investment skill. The stock is up 15,404% all time, which is truly astounding. But here you see the co-CEO, Tom Gaynor. Very interesting business to look into and study Gaynor as one of the best investors of our generation. And finally, we get to our one sale, which is Target. Executive officer John Mulligan sold about $6.4 million worth of Target. He sold it at right at $140 a share. Now, I don't typically put a ton of stock, no pun intended there, into insider sales. There's a bunch of reasons why an insider could sell a stock. Maybe they're paying for college. Maybe they're just, you know, it's kind of like the way they pay themselves in a lot of cases. So maybe don't put a ton of stock into that. But I do think it's interesting to see at Target, specifically after the stock was already down pretty significantly for the year, 
Retail obviously is suffering with high inventories. And, you know, if we can put any weight into this insider sale, suggest that that could potentially continue. Again, do your own due diligence. I don't think this is at all a reason to sell, go out and sell start, uh, Target today, but uh, it definitely is you know, an interesting uh, little flag. We'll be sure to keep an eye out for future insider purchases or sales around the retail space. A couple of bonus uh, honorable mentions here. NVIDIA, one of the directors, Mark Stevens, sold $36 million worth of NVIDIA stock, which is truly uh, astounding, uh, just the size of that. And then chairman of Airbnb, Joseph Gebbia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but he sold $25 million worth of Airbnb stock, and he sold it at $100 per share. Uh, so maybe something around here, uh, which is kind of interesting, not a great sign for the travel industry, or at least for Airbnb in particular. I hope that was interesting for you. Maybe you had a couple stock ideas there, or maybe not. Again, this is not a uh, endorsement of any of these that you should go out and buy them today, but I always think it's interesting to see what insiders are doing with their own stocks and see what kind of clues that can help us glean for the market or sectors as a whole. So let me know if you found that helpful. Maybe I'll post uh, some of these more regular updates if there are interesting insider purchases. Again, if you want to watch the insider buy-sell ratio as a market predictor, you can check out this link right here. In next week's video, I'm going to show you how to build a dividend discount model. We're going to help out a uh, young student who's trying to value Johnson & Johnson stock for his class. And I think this will be a really interesting lesson in how to build a dividend discount model, both for him in his class and also for you trying to figure out how much a particular business is worth. So that's coming up next week. For all of my subscribers on Patreon and on YouTube, that video is actually available right now. Thank you all for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in more content and getting early access to videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.